Well, first and foremost, thank you for tuning back into the channel. Mr. Just Right One is damn sure checking back in with you guys today. Hope you're having yourselves a blessed one. I'm back with yet another review. In today's review, I'm very, very excited and very, very proud to be able to do. Why? Because it touches on something that I really, really appreciate myself, and that is innovation. And who is it from? None other than the wonderful folks over at SX Mini. That's right. The SX Mini Auto Squonk. This thing right here, guys, is a beautiful, beautiful, innovative little piece. It, it's like their pod version of their Auto Squonk system. It's not like it is the pod version of their Auto Squonk system that they have. I've been thoroughly using this one, putting it through its paces, getting a better understanding of it because it seems intimidating with all the features that are on it and dabbling in the do-it-yourself section and, you know, understanding the problems that the people are having with the device or are had with the device and trying to eliminate the fact that is it user error or is it operational error and I can assure you that if you're having problems with this device it is not going to be equipment error it's going to be user error so without further ado let's dive down let's take a look at what comes in the package and we'll go over some of those troubles that people are having I've been using it I've thoroughly enjoyed using it and again, of course, yes, you're going to have your chance to get rewarded with your very own SX Mini. They sent me a few of these care packages over. Pretty cool. So stay tuned. Let's dive down. Let's have a look at it. Let's see what comes in the box. Let's go over this innovative little piece of hardware. And here we have the download section with the SX Mini innovation for you. SX Mini warranty card. Be sure to fill this out, folks, whenever you receive this. When you purchase it, fill it out as quick as possible. Save it. Put it in a safe place. You never know when you're going to need it. SX Mini, SX Auto User Manual. Very important with this device. And this is critical right here. First, use instructions. Please read before use. Fill the e-liquid and install the ADA atomizer. Press and short hold the fire button to start automatic E juice feeding. Please wait until the screen returns to the main interface. Press the fire button again. No liquid notice appears on the screen. The coil is getting ready for use. Priming, please wait. When the screen is back to the main interface, the device is ready to vape. The star of the show. Gotta say, I am loving this brass bronze look right here. The copper looks amazing as well. That's the one I did not receive. I wanted was the copper, but I'm happy with what I got. Beggars can't be choosers. Let's see what we've got in this box of extras here. All right, got one ADA head. ADA's automatic dripping atomizer. That's the point two. That'll be the Niachrome. I've got one more in here. And if I'm not mistaken, this will be the SS316.8. Proprietary fitting that does not fit standard 510. Remember that. And I'm guessing micro USB cable. Ta-da! Gold. It's fancy, huh? I will be keeping this one. I like it a lot. A lot, a lot. The letter. The infamous letter. Yeah, we'll go over that in just one sec. What I'm going to do is just power it up, show you the screen, so forth, go over a couple things. But I'm going to actually, since I've been using this one, I updated the firmware and all, I'm going to start with an empty pod and go through the whole startup process with you. System off. All right, the e-liquid I'll be using is a Saboa Delicanto. Fogging out with the Batman EMB. Check out the little discount code. Use it. Use it. And it says to fill this up. Stick it in there. You no need to remove that plug. You just fill the large hole. Tip fits perfect in there. That's what she said. <laughs> and then I fill her up. Like I always do. There is a line marked max. Fill it up until that mark and stop. Fill 
Let's see if I can zoom in on that or focus on that. Max, right there. That's the line you want to fill it to. It looks pretty good. And you want to stick it in the device. All right, have it filled up. Got the atomizer sitting up top. Fire it up. Forty joules, stainless steel. I should press this button once, and we should hear it no liquid. You'll hear it start priming. Pull that cap off. Let's see what it's doing. If I can get my camera to focus. Looks prime to me. Pretty saturated there. Gonna let that soak in just a bit. You can tell by that little donut gasket and the cotton contained within it. It is looks pretty saturated. One would think it's ready to vape. I purposely left this part in the video to show one thing. User error. I don't know what I'm doing all the time, you know. Even after using this device for a bit, I made a very, very simple mistake so it's saturated and still saying no liquid why is it saying no liquid and it clearly is saturated and it's there it's priming again exactly as it's supposed to and it's about to make a mess well I can explain this to you why this happened I had this device set up in do-it-yourself mode instead of an auto mode had it been in auto mode, it would have detected the resistance and set the material, metal, for nitrochrome. But right now it's on SS stainless. So it's not sensing it. It's not reading it correctly. And therefore it's going to continue to dump the liquid out until I wisen up, go in the menu system, and change it from do it yourself to auto or the material. Of the metal to niacrum and that's what I'm gonna do now because I'm tired of the mess all right and here I'm going back to the menu system to set this up in auto mode it takes a few seconds I over click something too fast auto mode press the power button again it'll shut down and I do believe if you hold the up and down button at the same time while it's in do-it-yourself mode, it will switch back to auto mode. Now we see the P1. It's a good indication that it is in auto mode. Pressing it, getting some vapors. So I'm going to go back in the menu system, and I'm going to change the power profile from P1, P2, P3, each indicating a different power rating. I do prefer P1 personally. Uh, about 425 watts, I believe, or 425 degrees Fahrenheit is what I like to be at. And I'm also going to go back and show you how to put it back into do it yourself mode. There you're adjusting the pump up and down. You can control how fast that pump is going to keep pumping e liquid while you're vaping it. Press the up and down button goes to do it yourself mode. There's a version updated 10.3. And we are showing back in Nyrochrome 40 joules. Dear Joel Robinson, the one hour when you, my colleague Vimin, and I sat down to communicate at ECC exhibition in August this year was engraved in my mind. This is our first meeting. Your justice, enthusiasm, sincerity, and passion move me. You are so patient to tell us about the atomizer. At the same time, I also blame myself for not coming out to meet you all these years. In 2020, I will improve this point. Christmas is coming. Send my blessings sincerely. Wish you peace, health, family business, and good luck in 2020. Merry Christmas. 
Best regards, Carrie. And that was the download section with the SX Auto Mini or SX Mini Auto. Let's go over pros and cons. And what we're going to do is we're going to go over the biggest con, which is a pro, but it's also a major con, is the tech. It's technically advanced. It's very, very in depth. Like you can get very, very customizable with this piece to adapt it to your settings how you want it for an advanced user. But they do rectify that con with putting auto feature in it. You know, if you're if you're unsure, stick with auto. Auto will do everything for you. It's okay to not know and understand how something works. Nobody understands how anything works all the time. It's part of who we are as human beings is the ability to say, you know what? I don't know what the hell I'm doing. So I'm just going to stick to auto mode and let it make the decisions for me. They took care of that. But if you feel that you are an advanced user and you feel that you're comfortable stepping into that realm, then they give you the option to do so to fine tune this to your experience to make it a better vape for you. Second con is going to be the price point. You know, I've seen this about a buck oh nine. And I typically don't get into pricing and whatnot, but when you're talking about a pod system for a buck nine, that's pretty high, you know, and that's that may push some people off. You know, I think when you're in the pod system realm, even on the upper echelon of the pod system world, you need to be somewhere around the $75, $80 mark is like the top of the tier right there. I don't think there's any need to go any higher than that. But I do understand that with research and development comes a price tag. And SX has never let us down in that aspect. You know, they're using the funds that they make on these pro these products. The research and development's not free, you know, and they, they constantly updating their firmware for the devices. I highly suggest you also get familiarized with that if you want to step further in the advanced realm using this device. Uh, what else do we got con-wise? Aesthetically. Aesthetically, the device does it for me on the brass. It really, really does. I do wish that on the front of the device, right here, we had the same matching print that we have on the back because I think the print on the back looks amazing. I just wish it was matched right here on the front because on all of them, you get to the front and it's rather plain and bare right there. I would like to see that scroll work done on the front as well. Uh, also, the cap on the RDA itself, or ADA, Automatic Dripping Atomizer, which I think is another cool thing. Uh, I wish that cap would cover that silver ring right there, whether it be the Ultim cap or the black cap, that it would actually go down and sit over that ring. Why? Just because I don't like seeing that extra bit of stainless on this antique bronze. It's unnecessary. I think you could make it look a whole lot better aesthetically. Now let's get into the pros. The pros as well, like I said before, and one of the cons is the fact that you can customize this unit however you want to adapt to your vaping style, especially for the techni technically advanced users. The options are there to make this your very own. And the fact that if you're not technically advanced, the auto feature where it makes all the decisions for you, if you put the 0.2 nichrome coil on there, or if you put the 0.8 SS316 coil on there, it will know what you've put on there and it will make the adjustments for you accordingly and still allow you to be able to change like your power levels of P1, P2, P3 for your optimal wattage as to what you like. So, I mean, it makes the decisions, but yet it also gives you a little bit of freedom to make your own decisions as far as if you want a warmer vape or a cooler vape. Uh, the auto feature, the auto feed feature to me is hands down the greatest innovative step we've taken in vaping in a very long time. There's not many things that have been really, really innovative in the vaping world. And I'm sure SX is very, very proud to claim that title of, hey, we set the bar for that. We did that, you know. And yeah, there's other companies, other umbrella companies underneath them that have these and a more user-friendly version where there's not as many options. This one, also, another big pro is going to be the rebuildable section. If you like to build your own coils, it's going to be a little more feasible for you financially to rebuild your coils instead of having to buy different coil heads every time. 
huge, huge pro in my book. What else do I got pro-wise? The fact that they constantly update their firmware. Man, that is imperative. You know how many products I have that have USB ports on them that I've never seen or heard of an update for that product? What the is the point of putting a USB port on it, upgradable, if you're never going to visit your firmware? So hats off and tipping my hat to SX on that. I personally thank you for continuing to push that boundary and that bar further and further in the innovative side of vaping. The community is owed the innovation. If we want to continue to grow as an industry and a community, we have to allow innovation. We have to be willing to support that and drop the funds of a buck oh nine, which is a con, to support that. You know, and it's like you're dropping a buck oh nine and never getting any support with it. That when you drop a dollar nine on it, they're gonna be there to take care of you for the life of your device, I promise you. They've yet to drop the ball when it comes to that. So that's my pros right there. If you can afford the SX Mini, get one. If you can't, they have other options and lower brand other umbrella companies that you can pick up that give you a general idea of what the experience is like. Of course, with the SX, if you can't afford that, don't feel like you're missing out anything. I mean, you're not. Uh, ultimately, it still vapes. It has the auto drip feature or auto feed feature. Other devices do the same thing. SX has long been for the upper echelon or middle echelon of such with the innovation and quality of hardware and what you're producing and putting out to the market, but always on the forefront of innovation. They, they're not second to anybody when it comes to innovation. So if you like to support innovation and you want to see this community grow and this industry continue to grow and see leaps and bounds made on the innovative side, be sure to pick up an SX Mini Auto. If not, cool. No love lost, man. You're not missing anything. I do owe you guys a reward recipient for the Vaporesso degree. If you're seeing your comment right here, please inbox me within 48 hours via Instagram or Facebook to uh, claim your reward. All right? So without further ado, I'm going to do what I always do, and that is going to be to remind you that if at any given point in time you have ever felt like you are not a somebody, I want you to know that you are a somebody in somebody's eyes, and that somebody is me. I absolutely love each and every one of you. Stay focused. Stay blessed. Mr. Just Right One is checking in and checking out at the same damn time. I'm out.